Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It is a very like Jackie Ayana kind of time, the infamous inspired kind of makeup. I used some glitter. I even did a little bit of a twist to it. I just really love how it came out. I wanted to start stepping out of my comfort zone again. And honestly, like this is not really like stepping out of my comfort zone, but it's like doing something different that I don't normally do on an everyday base and what I have been doing on my channel. It is very fun and it's just so gorgeous. Like I am obsessed with how this look um, out. I didn't do my foundation and my face like routine on camera just because I always do that. But yeah, before we get into this video, please you guys, come and join my family and subscribe if you haven't already. It is free 99, <laughs> not even the 99, it is free to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button down below as well so you don't miss out of any of my videos. I am going to link everything down in the description box as well as all my social media accounts which you should follow me as well. But yeah, so if you are interested in how I got this bomb ass makeup, please stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer and this is in the color 1.5 and I'm just going to prime my lids as our base and I'm just going to blend that out using my fingers. So with my It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetic number 6 brush, I'm going to be taking the color Sun Sunset. And I'm gonna put that as our first transition color. Let me get this wig out of the way. <laughs> and I'm just gonna place that right into my crease. Blend out the edges with my Morphe 504 brush. And then I'm gonna go back into that sunset shade to build the color up a little bit more and sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out the Sun is like messing with me right now so with the shade Friday I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M330 and I'm gonna apply that into my crease as well but a little bit below where we put that first shade and then really focusing it in the socket right here, not really bringing it to the outer or inner corners, but just deepening up the actual crease. And then with that, I'm gonna go back into my first brush with the sunset shade and then kind of like blend out the edges and then go back in with that Friday color and just like make sure that it's well blended out I'm not really going to take a clean brush between hand to blend out the edges. I kind of want it to be like a smooth transition from the next color to the previous color. And by using the same brush without any additional product, but with that first product on there, the first color, it's going to be like a well blended like transition. And I've been really doing this technique a lot and I see a big difference in my blending instead of actually like using a clean blending brush. It helps blend everything much more. And like I'm doing in the first shade, I'm just blending, adding, building that color up. Now with the shade Connie and a Morphe 411, uh, Morphe M411, I'm gonna deepen up that socket a little bit more. And then with this shade, I'm going to apply it here in the outer corners and inner corners, making it like a nice halo. And I actually just apply the color without really blending out and then packing it. And then we're going to go in with a different brush kind of to blend it out just because this color is pretty dark. I don't want to keep like adding the color so with that I'm going to be taking my C40 
Sigma, Sigma, Sigma E40 to blend out that shade. And what I do is I kind of like press in and then try to do like slightly windshield wiper but like in the smallest way possible. So like padding and then like windshield wipers really softly because we don't want to bring that color higher. So we want to blend as little as possible but still blend out where there's no harsh lines. And going in with the Friday shade to blend out those harsh lines. And then again with that sunset shade. So we're just blending like this with each brush. Blush brush. <laughs> now with my Morphe M441. I'm going to be taking a little bit of Muse and I'm just lightly, like barely touching my lid and blending out the edges so that it's nice and seamless so it goes right into my skin a little bit better. And I'm just gonna clean up, like I use my fingers kind of blend as well if I did a little bit overboard. You see, so it's not so harsh of a blend right here to my brow bone. It's just like a nice gradient effect. Uh -oh. Now with the color Fairy Tale, I'm gonna be taking my MAC 242 brush and I'm gonna start packing it on into the center of the lid. And then I'm gonna go in with my fingers, my ring finger, and pack that on as well. And I'm kind of overlapping it where I put that crease color. Just because we're going to put some glitter there as well. Just like that. Just like that. Next for my bottom lash line, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M431. And I'm going to go in with Friday and pack that onto my lower lash line as close as possible. And then with my Morphe 5, M514, I'm gonna be taking Sunset and buffing that out. With my Morphe M441, with a little bit of that Muse color, I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more as well as the edges. And then going in with my Marc Jacobs eyeliner, this is in the color I want to say it's age or plum. It is a plum kind of color. I'm going to put that into my waterline. And I need a mirror for this. <laughs> for my inner corner, I'm going back into that palette and I'm taking Allison and I'm just going to pack that right into the inner corners and then kind of blend it into the purple shade. Now for the fun part. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna go in with my makeup by Melly Melanin, and I'm gonna be taking this shade um, that's on the top, and I'm just gonna press that into where that gold shade is, kind of sloppily. And um, a little trick is my finger is a little bit wet. I kind of put it in like a wet towel so I could pick up more product and it just places more um, shadow on, I mean glitter on that way. And I'm just packing that on where I put the gold. I just love this color, it's so pretty. And I'm not being really like um, precise where I'm putting this glitter. I'm kind of being a little bit sloppy, if that makes sense. And you know, I just want it to be like everywhere. And then for the bottom lash line, because I have a little bit of glitter right here, I'm going to be going in with just like a regular angle brush and kind of putting it on the brush. 
and really try to pack it onto the lower lash line just in the center. So like right here. And then I don't want it to be like all over the place, so we're just gonna clean, try to clean it up. I'm probably have to go in with a little bit of tape. Just blend, like packing on the shade right there. And then to kind of bringing it down, almost like a little teardrop. In Total Temptation Mascara to coat my top and bottom lashes. I got some glitter on my contacts. It feels a little weird. Getting my favorite pair of lashes by Ezidro. Ezidro. I always mess up with this fucking name. I don't know why. But they're so gorgeous. Oh my god, look at them. These are in the style of Legendary. Um, they're just so pretty and they're easy to put on. So I thought this would be good for this tutorial. While that is drying, I'm gonna go in with my lip color. But first, I just want to moisturize a little bit because these are a little chapped. Just un poquito. The liner, I'm going to go in with my brown sugar by Kylie Cosmetics, which is my favorite liner from them. It's just so gorgeous. Lipstick, I'm taking the um, Color Cosmetics Boy. I swear, these are like the most easiest lashes to put on. Like, so bombed. They're so pretty. Like, oh, they're so gorgeous. light since I already did my face I'll leave everything down in the description box below of what I use but I just wanted to focus on like the eyes and the lips and stuff so for my highlighter I'm gonna be taking the artist contour in conceited and I just love this I just want to look 